everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan. I am a filmmaker and director of photography based out of South Florida and this is a place where I post some of my work, post some BTS from that work and talk a little bit about gear. And like I say a lot, this is no exception. So today we're talking about gear and specifically the Tilta Mapbox Mini and I am super excited. Um, just to go over a few reasons why I purchased this. So I've been using matte boxes on pretty much all of my camera setups for any type of documentary and feature work. If I can't do a matte box, I pretty much have a sunshade if it's good quality. It's less about being able to use ND filters as far as I'm concerned and more about blocking out the flare. So for some of my camera setups, I've actually been using lower end matte boxes. They do the job as far as blocking flare, but they definitely don't look the part and they don't feel the part and they definitely don't last with travel. A lot of my cheaper map boxes basically just get destroyed when I travel. So what I liked about this map box mini is that it's pretty durable. So let's go through, let's open it up. And this video is gonna be my first impressions as we're still kind of in this whole pandemic situation, but we are slowly coming out of it. And part of the reason I got this is to get ready for one of my first shoots when we do get out of this whole pandemic. I'm gonna hook it up to my Sigma 18 to 35 and uh, let's take it from there. I really do like Tilta products. I have a... Uh, the other Tilta product I have is the Nucleus Nano. I've used the Nucleus M a few times and I really like that. I don't have a Tilta cage, but I do like their cages. I bought the small rig because at the time, the Tilta cage was not ready and I really do like my small rig cage. Uh, so there hasn't really been a, a reason to uh, switch over to the Tilta cage, but I really, you know, there really isn't another option for this kind of a mat box in this price range for this quality. So let's pull out the uh, Tilta. So right now, here is the inside when you open up the box. Um, it gives you a few different adapter rings and the adapter ring is also the next thing I wanna talk about. Most matte boxes, you need 15 millimeter rods, which is pretty standard for this kind of setup. You need 15 millimeter rods for you know your matte box, you need it for your lens support, and you need it for your follow focus. Um, there are certain situations though, especially in, in some of the dock interview settings where I'm not using my follow focus and it would be nice to not have to bring the rails because then at that point, everything could be a lot more compact. When I have to bring the rails, it just adds extra things I have to bring on a shoot. And so like I said, it would be nice not to have to bring it. So with the Tilta, you can actually, if your setup is strong enough, you can put one of these ring adapters on the front of your lens and you can mount the map box to the front of your lens, which is great and it makes it a little bit more portable. So like I said, I can now take this map box on shoots where I don't necessarily wanna bring the whole rail set up along. So this is specifically a 15 millimeter rod made for the Tilta cage. So you could use this little rod without having to have uh, a set of two 15 millimeter rods. So it kind of saves you in that situation, although I don't believe it will fit on my small rig. I will check it out later though. Here is the little adapter that you can use to put it to the 15 millimeter, whether you use theirs or whether you use your own. I would assume if you're going to use rods, you're probably gonna use your own because you're gonna have other things hooked up to those rods where you know this little one may not really do the job, but it'll do the job if you don't have them. So here is the mat box, boom. It feels very nice in the hand and it feels very light and that's kind of what I need. I need a mat box that's nice, that's light, that looks the part that does the blocking of the flares and can let me put um, you know, ND filters if I want to. So you have to get the special ND filters made for this Tilta mat box mini, which is gonna be my next order that I have to make. I will order them. I don't have them right now just because I wanted to get the mat box first. Uh, and I'll make another video about that when I do get the ND filters in. But like I said, this is the matte box. Looks pretty cool. Let's put it on the Sigma 18 to 35 uh, on my pocket camera and see how that works out. So this is the setup. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with the Sigma 18 to 35 and the Tilta matte box. So it's a nice, light, compact setup. This is basically the setup I would have on documentaries where I don't necessarily wanna have the follow focus, but I wanna have the map box to reduce flares, which is awesome. So first thing to notice when you look at this setup, especially with the map box attached, so there's actually two cold shoe mounts right here on top, which is pretty cool. In addition, it looks like there's 
uh, six quarter inch threads on the top here as well with um, two, three, I believe they're three eighths um, adapters or three eighths threads. Uh, nothing on the bottom, but very cool to have them on the top. I'm not exactly sure what I would put there, but it's good to have them, uh, especially if you need them in you know the last second. Looks very solid, very compact. You know, closes up right here. Acts as a a semi lens uh, protector, but it doesn't completely close to where you know there still is a gap right here, so you could get dust going into the lens. So it doesn't completely act as a lens protector. But I think, you know, if you're moving and you're moving at a fast pace in the middle of a shoot and you just needed to, you know, have something to cover it really quickly while you're moving around, this would probably work. If you're in a dustier area, you're on set, uh, you know, there's just particles moving around. I wouldn't leave this on long term uh, as far as lens protection. I would just do it uh, very, very short term, like you're moving the camera or something. So another thing I noticed with the Tilta Mapbox Mini is that it actually has threads in the adapter you use in the front of the lens. So if you do have screw-on ND filters, you can still use your screw-on ND filters if they are the same size as the lens and don't conflict with the inner diameter of the tilt and map box mini but as you see here i've got my b and w polarizer filter which is great because i thought i was basically not going to be able to use it with this map box mini which is awesome the second part is because you can put that in there and because there's threads you can actually whether you have the uh, nd filter polarizer or nothing in there you can still put your lens cap back on the lens itself and make sure that it's double protected uh, even when this thing's closed so you could essentially go on set and leave the map box on the whole time and not worry about it which is very cool very very excited um you know i think the price is very justified for what they're giving you again it, they're just giving you a basic mat box but if you look at other mat boxes although yes they may be a little sturdy they may be a little heavier they may have more weight to them for a mat box that you want to basically be able to clamp on the front of your camera without using your 15 millimeter rods you want it to be this light you do not want uh this thing to be heavy and then have all that weight on the front of your lens right here and then have your lens mount to have to worry about that weight as well. Um, that's also part of the reason that we use the um, lens support for the Metabones right here, uh, which is an extra support point from the cage itself to make the Metabones a little bit more tight, a little bit more locked in place. And I am completely confident with this setup right here without having to use the 15 millimeter rods that this thing will work and it'll work great. Um, again, got to test it in the field with the ND filters and that will be the next video. But this is essentially, like I said, my first impressions of the Tilta Mapbox Mini. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I can't wait to start shooting on it. Uh, in a few weeks, I'll have my first shoot that I've basically had in... Jeez, over two months now. I literally was on set in Atlanta when all this stuff <laughs> went over. And luckily, we, we finished our last day of shooting, and I drove all the way back to Florida. Um, and it's it's basically, I haven't been working as far as production since. Been doing a lot of live streaming, and you guys can see that covered in the other videos. But I'm going to kind of leave it there for this video. Again, this is my first impressions. Really do like the Tilt and Map Box Mini. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And until next time, I really hope you guys like this video. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, thank you again for getting me to 1,000 subs, guys. I really do appreciate it. And new video coming on the channel soon with the new Comica Wireless XD Boom, which is two transmitters to one receiver. Can't wait to talk about that again more in the next video but until next time see you later guys